How to make a silicone blanket mold. These are the supplies that you will need. Some sort of container, I buy mine from the Dollar Tree. 3M high strength adhesive or whatever adhesive you have on hand to apply your medallion to the tray. A mold release, a chip brush, your silicone rubber, part A and B, some stir sticks, measuring container, and mixing container with a mixing stick. Before I begin and show you how to make the silicone rubber mold, my name is Ellie Ellis. I'm a decorative artisan, faux finisher, bar relief, master mold maker, and stenciler. I'm also a mom and a grandmother. So let's begin. I'm using silicone rubber that comes in part A, B. I have two measuring cups. They've been weighed out in equal volume. I'm going to pour them into my measuring cup. And I'm going to scrape them out to make sure that I get the exact amounts. Otherwise it won't cure very well. So I've got that in there. Before we mix it up, I'm going to take my medallion and I'm using 3M adhesive. You can get this from Home Depot. What that does is it connects my medallion into the mold box so that the silicone rubber doesn't flow underneath. I'm going to mix my silicone rubber I have already sprayed it with the spray release and I've already brushed it out to make sure that there's no puddles in there. I mix it thoroughly and because I do not have a degassing machine, which I did, I am going to hold it up high and let it, this long trail will make the bubbles just break and go out. This has about um, six minute pot life, which means that it will begin to cure and I can demold it in 30 minutes and I will be able to cast in my mold, plaster, resin, plastic, chocolate, who doesn't love chocolate? So this is what the mold looks like. It's been poured. I already made one earlier. I am going to demold it. Here it is. Thank you again for watching this tutorial. I really hope it helped you. And I'd like to inspire you how I use molds in my bas relief work. As you can see in this fireplace, which used to be an old red brick fireplace, I've used lots of different ornamentation to make it a spectacular piece. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.